تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس فیڈرل کیبنٹ میٹنگ از انڈر وے ان اسلام آباد ود پرائم منسٹر ان دا چیئر ڈسکسنگ اوور آل پولیٹیکل اینڈ اکنامک سچویشن آف دا کنٹری Finance Minister says the government will provide targeted subsidies to the weak segments of society from this month on essential commodities. <music> Minister for Planning has said positive cases of COVID-19 are gradually coming down in the country. <music> UN High Commissioner for Human Rights has said restrictive measures can result in human rights violations and foster further tensions in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And now the news in detail. A meeting of federal cabinet is in progress in Islamabad with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. It is discussing overall political and economic situation of the country besides COVID-19 situation in the country. Finance Minister Shaukat Tareen has said the government will start giving targeted subsidies from this month to the weak segments of society on essential commodities including sugar, flour and pulses. He was addressing a news conference along with Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Faru Khabib and Special Assistant on Food Security Jamshed Chima in Islamabad today. He said the targeted subsidy will be in the form of cash assistance which will cover 35 to 40 percent population. The finance minister said the government is also focusing on bolstering the agriculture productivity. In the medium to long term, commodity warehouses, cold storages and agri-malls will be established with the aim to eliminate the role of middlemen and ensure that the farmers get due price of their products. He said strategic reserves of major commodities are also being built in order to ensure smooth supplies in the market. The finance minister said that the prices of wheat will see decline in the coming days. Speaking on the occasion, Jamshed Iqbal Chima said the prices of flour, sugar, ghee and pulses would be reduced by December this year. He said the government is targeting on ensuring quality and affordable price of milk and a program to this effect would be unfolded in two weeks. The special assistant said we are also shifting from non-promising crops to to promising crops to meet the food demand of the country. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has said that the positive cases of COVID-19 are gradually coming down in the country. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he was confident that the situation will further improve in the next 15 days and reduce the existing pressure on the hospitals. He, however, warned that the threat is not over. The Minister for Planning said tougher restrictions were imposed in 24 districts earlier this month to curb the spread of the virus. He expressed satisfaction that the situation has now improved in 18 districts. He said that the high degree of restrictions will stay in place in the remaining six districts till 22nd of this month. These include Lahore, Faisalabad, Multan, Sargodha, Gujarat and Bannu. The Minister for Planning said the educational institutions are being reopened from Thursday in a staggered manner. Intercity transport is being allowed with 50% occupancy. Outdoor dining will now be allowed in these districts by 12 midnight, but indoor dining will remain closed. 78 more deaths due to coronavirus infection and 2,580 positive cases have been reported in the country in a single day. According to the National Command and Operations Center statistics, the death toll raised to 26,865. 47,419 tests were conducted yesterday and positivity ratio remained 5.44%. United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michael Bachelet, has voiced her continued concern about the situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. She was talking at the start of the 48th session of the UN Human Rights Council on Human Rights Developments around the world. She said restrictive measures can result in human rights violations and foster further tensions and discontent in occupied territory. A trilateral meeting between Japan, United States and South Korea was held in Tokyo to discuss 
how restrain North Korea's missile program following its test fire of long-range cruise missile. Addressing the meeting, the U.S. Special Envoy for North Korea, Sung Kim, said that Washington remains open to diplomacy for negotiations with the North Korea aimed to completely denuclearize Korean Peninsula. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch white live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan